The Authority Syndicate, the show for positioning yourself as the number one authority in your industry, quickly turning your prospects into clients and raving fans. Here is your host, T. Allen Haynes. Welcome back to this edition of The Authority Syndicate. We have a great guest for you today. His name is Alex Wadsworth, and he's currently the founder and president of iCast Productions, which is a television, online radio, and podcast network for the internet generation, organically producing community-driven programs, and it's made up of hyper-connected, passionate, committed hosts, producers, and co-hosts who want to empower, educate, and entertain. Now, this company was founded in 2011 by Alex after discovering the power of internet broadcasting and communication while serving in the United States military overseas. The company is still led by internet broadcasting pioneer, Mr. Wadsworth, and he focuses on the future of the network by getting communities involved in their local studio by supporting local talent and allowing affordable access. Alex also focuses on building the industry by working with other local internet broadcasters to create standards and procedures of the internet broadcasting industry. Now, as I said, Alex is a veteran of the United States Air Force. He's based out of Tampa, Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida, the CEO of ICAST Productions. And after leaving the United States military, he pursued an interest in online broadcasting and new age media. And his company produces live, weekly, self-produced, or in-studio produced broadcasts using popular outlets such as YouTube, iTunes, Ustream, etc. And he enjoys connecting online broadcasters of all types on radio, TV, and podcast. Alex, are you there? I am here, and thank you very much for that awesome introduction. Alex, yes, it's very impressive, and thank you for your service in the military. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And you as well, weren't you? You, you, uh, were, you served yourself, correct? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Retired U.S. <laughs> Navy. And thank you. So, uh, thank you for well, your service. Let's get right in. Yeah. Let's get right into this because I'm excited for the audience because you've got some exciting things going on. And to kick it off, what is it that you help or what is it with your prospects that you help with a common problem? What would, what would that, what would that be? With what well, it, it, it's easy for me to answer because what I do, if we break it all the way down, is I support people who love to talk. So that's what I do. And uh, people come into our studios and they record, whether it's a religious show, a spiritual show, a sports show, everybody believes that they have something that has their own character, their own personality, and how they're going to change the world. And maybe they're going to change one or two lives with it. Maybe they're going to change 10,000. But what I like to do is provide, give people the opportunity to talk into a broadcast format to the whole world. So this is actually a place where people could come and without any restrictions or, um, you know, they can just be themselves and broadcast. Is that correct? Yes. Our our vision is to uh, eventually have studios all over the world and the country where people can come into very, very much like public access, except for it's not funded by, you know, government funding. It's uh, basically a private owned company where people can come in as long as it isn't hate speech or slander or or any of those things. We allow them to come in and have the freedom that they want to talk about whatever they want. Uh, We do have, you know, obviously, you know, the morning shows have a certain rating to them compared to the evening shows. And we even have, have had shows that go from midnight to 4 a.m. Just, uh, just just depends on you know what they want to talk about. Wow, that's incredible access. So right now you currently have those facilities in Tampa, Tampa Bay, Florida. Yeah, yeah uh, we we have uh, have had up to two studios operating full uh, fully. Uh, this is uh, eleven shows a day. We had seventy eight shows organically being produced out of our shows every single week. Um, it was an amazing thing. People, whether you're a heavy metal rock show or if you're a military guy or if you're a spiritual out spiritualist, it didn't really matter. People were getting along because they were they had a a common interest and they would come to these places. They would be able to have like a, uh, basically bring new media broadcasting, uh, you know, online virtual broadcasting into a brick and mortar, uh, feel a community. Well, that's awesome. So is this a free access or did, is there a fee involved or how do they do that? Uh, we have, uh, we have figured out a way to make it extremely affordable 
as little as $10 an hour uh, for some podcasters that want to come in. Obviously, that's space available, but some people are basically, you know, that's where they're at. What a great idea. That's just, that's just an awesome idea. So what, what would be some two or three common questions that uh, people that want to do this, what would be a couple of those questions they might ask? Well, you know, if, they're, if people are looking to do the technical aspects, you know, I, I, I try to say there's all kinds of online forums. There's all kinds of chat rooms that you can figure out uh, how, to, how to do it yourself. Um, you can buy you know, enough equipment to, to broadcast uh, in quality for around $500. That's including microphones with guests, including board, the proper wiring in the computer. Uh, obviously, the computer is uh, a little more expensive than the 500 but, you know, most people already have a computer. And some people who, who aren't interested in having such high-quality production, they can even record off their, uh, their iPhone or something like that. So just... Just to be clear, if they want to come to your studio, you have all that stuff there, right? Absolutely, yes. We have, um, we've had an internet TV uh, studio, we have an internet radio studio, and we have a podcast studio, 2,200 square foot facility with conference rooms for people to meet and have pre- and post-production shows. Uh, we also have private meeting rooms that people could discuss sponsorships with their potential guests. So a lot of the guests will say, man, this is such a good, good, uh, a good feel. And I really felt like, uh, you know, I felt that it, it was, it's going to get out my mission. How can I support you? And then, you know, obviously it's, it's a good place to meet with them. Very cool. So the, what would be the advantage of coming to a place like that versus doing it in their home or in their apartment or in their office? What would be the advantages of working professionally there? Well, the, the, the realistic answer is if you, if you go into a studio where other like-minded individuals are, the creative environment is, is the number one reason. But then you also, are, you also have a, a certain type of silence. There's no kids in the back. There's no dogs. There's no cats. Everybody who owns a cat and is trying to do podcasting, it jumps on their mixing board and their soundboards. This here provides them with an atmosphere with creative individuals that are really going to get in, and they're going to help. Like I said before, it doesn't matter if they're heavy metal all the way down to uh, a show based on religion. People are going to come together and help each other because that's what we have seen in the past five years. So how did, how did you come up with this idea? I mean, what motivated you to be the authority in this area? What, what prompted that? So when I was uh, stationed in Aviano, Italy, uh, we found a couple of you know, local Italians there that were doing a similar type of things, uh, podcasting. This was five years ago before anybody was doing podcasting. Now it's, you know, it's all on every billboard and every magazine. So five years ago, six years ago, when we were living in Italy, there was people that, that were doing this type of communication, but they weren't just doing it for just talk shows. They were doing it as ways to communicate with their businesses, to grow their businesses. Some people were sending out messages to their family, and it was just a very interesting concept. And so when when we moved back to the States, we opened up a small 10 foot by 10 foot little podcasting room with four microphones and a, and a small little soundboard. And we were charging anybody $10 an hour. You can come in for 10 bucks an hour and you can try to do this. And it from, from day one to a year later, we went from one show to 35 to 50 to uh, about 78 shows a week. And it was just an amazing thing. There's a lot of work and a lot of people, a lot of passionate people. It was just an amazing, amazing growth. And we didn't really know where it was going to go, but obviously anybody who's, you know, a lot of people who are doing podcasting, you know, if they make the choice that they will more than likely add video to it. So um, we did find that adding video to our studios really upped, upped our, upped our ante, if you will. So you mentioned five years ago when hardly anybody was doing podcasting, where, where do you see, I mean, define podcasting for our audience and where do you see it going? Well, right now, there's a lot of people out there trying to sell this, this new media uh, medium, and they're, they're really trying to get out there. But it, it, the reality of it is a podcast is nothing different than a portable on-demand broadcast, which was the first definition for a podcast in 2004. It has been changed and manipulated to, to make it easier to sell. But the reality of it is a podcast is a portable on-demand bo- broadcast. The people who are podcasting are no different than the people who are making, who are writing books and writing uh, um, magazines. And it's a, it's a, it's a different type of thing, but it's still for that type of personality. So it, it's an important piece of getting your content content out there, obviously. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, a podcast or an audio book or audio recording or any of that kind of stuff is definitely definitely. Uh, a very important marketing, 
uh, are a very important tool to use when trying to market yourself, your brand, or your mission, whatever that may be. Okay, great. Well, what would uh, why would working with somebody like you, a professional, uh, greatly improve chances for success? What would be the answer to that? Well, I would I would kind of say um, that you working with with consultants and different people like that are that are trying to help you grow your 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 podcast or your internet TV show, radio show. It saves you time because we understand that any excuse me, we understand that anybody can do a podcast, anybody can do an internet TV show, radio show, but it takes a lot of hours, a lot of research. When, you know, when we very first started this conversation, there's all kinds of resources online. If, you know, people can't, you know, can't hire consultants or anything like that. You can go online and look up how to do this, but we're all about saving you time and getting you out there to get your voice heard. Okay. So the, uh, you've got some exciting news coming up about April. Tell our audience about what's going on in April. Well, I am so glad because this is this is re- the reason I'm here today. I um, I would like to to tell everybody that we feel as a, of what we're doing with the Talkie Awards, which is what we're going to talk about here. The, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association created the Golden Globes to bring an industry standard together, the future leaders, the present leaders, and this way it, it fuels passion, it fuels the industry with passion. So we created the Talkie Awards with the same type of feel, bringing internet TV, radio show, all these talk shows hosts together. And we believe that over the next 50 years that it's going to keep this industry strong. Um, and it's going to bring all these passionate people together. On April 17th of this year, uh, we believe that it's going to be a, a very important uh, day for the industry because we, we know that we're going to bring podcasts, internet TV, internet radio show hosts together, and that they're going to be able to meet each other for the first time, a lot of them have met on these Facebook groups, these these chat rooms, and all these other things. That's very cool. So, if people are interested now, you're getting out awards, and I understand when are the nominations opening up? If you want to nominate somebody, on December first, uh, to uh, December first of this year, uh, we're going to be opening nominations on the talkieawards.org. And people will be able to go in there. Uh, there is a submission fee to uh, to to put your podcast in there. It's only a dollar. Uh, the dollar will go to the Veterans Art Center of Tampa Bay, which will soon be probably be the Veterans Art Center of America. And what their plans are is to build centers for disabled veterans, uh, unemployed veterans, and more of the creative type of veterans to come in there and have the ability to to use art as a therapy. So what the the way we're involved is that we would like to integrate uh, new media art internet TV shows and radio shows, digital production, post audio production. We want to integrate these into these veteran art centers so that people, the ones that may not be into painting and, and pottery, and, but they can use new media type of art. So that's kind of our, our goal with, with charging a dollar uh, for a submission. And we're also going to be giving a percentage of our profits from the entire event to this insti- to this, uh, this center. Awesome. Giving back to the veterans. That's, that's incredible that you're doing that. And uh, we appreciate that from the veterans. The what else would uh, to wrap this up? What's one thing that someone must consider to successfully podcast or get into that modality? Yeah, if, if anybody is going to be doing any type of podcasting, any type of internet radio or internet TV show or anything like that, I tell them to come into the mentality where this is a career choice for you if you're looking to make the type of money that they hear about. Some people are like, oh, I, I, I heard about this one blogger who's making 100000 a month. Well, I can guarantee you she's putting 50, 60 hours a week into her show. Um, you can't just come in there, record you know, this one hour, put it out there, and it's going to make all this money. It's about creating a community. It's about creating a following. And it's about really you know, respecting this, this uh, opportunity as a career choice. So a lot of people that do come in, oh, I just want to do it as a hobby, that's not really kind of the, that's not really where I am. And I don't think a lot of the people like yourselves and, and others, they, they really want to use this as a, as a career choice because they believe it's the most powerful thing that they can do. This is, this is the greatest time in, in humanity to get your message out through podcasting and, and all the modalities that are available now because the playing field has been leveled. So that's an awesome, awesome project that you're working on there, and we appreciate it. We look forward to it. And so tell our audience, if they want to connect with you, talk to the awards, how would they find you? 
So if they want to connect with, uh, with me personally, uh, they can email me at alex at the uh, I have, I am now the executive producer for that. And so I am contributing the majority of my time to that. And, um, we believe that in the next six months, we are going to be making some major impacts from, we're going to have a uh, podcasters, internet TV hosts and internet radio hosts from around the world coming in and meeting each other and being acknowledged for their hard work. So, uh, definitely please, uh, shoot me an email at alex at the And, uh, or they can just check out the website at, uh, the talkieawards.com. Super. Well, thank you again. I know you're a busy man. Thanks for taking time out with us to inform our audience about the Talkie Awards and the new standard for the industry. And uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you. We'll see you the next time. The Authority Syndicate, the show for positioning yourself as the number one authority in your industry, quickly turning your prospects into clients and raving fans. Here is your host, T. Allen Haynes.